Balancing an equation is an important skill. Uh, sometimes we refer to equations or reactions. We use those two terms interchangeably. Here's an example of a, of a chemical reaction. Calcium carbonate uh, can decompose, break apart into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Uh, we use an arrow to represent the fact that a chemical change is occurring, or sometimes uh, we put an equal sign here if, uh, if we don't have the capability of showing an arrow in, in digital format. Uh, those materials on the left typically we call reactants. Over here are the products on the right-hand side. And uh, when we show an equation, we try to represent uh, as nearly as we can the, the facts of, of nature. That is to say, we try to use correct formulas. And uh, one other thing that we try to do when we show a reaction, we try to have equal number of each element on the left and on the right. Uh, for example, here's one calcium, one calcium over on the right-hand side. One carbon, one carbon, three oxygens. Well, over here, we have one oxygen and two oxygens. So we have three oxygens on each side. When that situation is achieved, we say that the reaction is balanced. And we always try to work with balanced chemical reactions. That way we're not creating atoms or destroying atoms, but there's a conservation of matter. We know that hydrogen and oxygen can react together almost explosively to form water. Uh, well, the equation's not balanced. I've got just one oxygen over on the right-hand side. If we were to show this as O, hey, life would be pretty easy. H2 plus O gives us H2O. What, but that would not be the best representation because we know that oxygen prefers not to travel around as single atoms, but it travels around as, as O2. So these are the facts, and somehow we must work with those to come up with a balanced equation. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Uh, notice over here I've got an odd number of oxygens, and on this side an even number. And the only way those two will ever be in agreement is if we even up the odd. That's a nice little trick to remember in balancing equations, even up the odd. And I can do that by placing the number two in front of this formula on the right-hand side. Uh, this number two is called a coefficient, and it's the coefficient times the subscript that tells us the number of atoms that we have in total. So two times two, I'd have four hydrogen atoms, two times one, we'd have two oxygens. Our, hey, our oxygens are in balance. Now we've got to manipulate the hydrogens. We'd need four hydrogens over on this side. And the equation is balanced. Let's look at a couple more. There are very systematic ways of balancing chemical equations, and some equations are tough, really tough, to balance. Uh, but uh, the, our hit or miss method, or even up the odd, will work for us uh, oftentimes. Uh, up here, I see that, uh, well, the oxygens are not in balance. One plus two, I've got three on this side, two on that side. Let's try evening up the odd. I can do that by using a coefficient two in front of the NO. That means that we'll need a two over on the right-hand side. We've got two nitrogens on each side, a total of four oxygens. Two plus two, four oxygens. We're all set. Let's try this one. This represents the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to form oxygen and water. And again, uh, even number of oxygens, but over here an odd number. Let's even up the odd. Let's place a two. So now I've got two oxygens plus two. I've got a total of four oxygens. 
coming back to the left-hand side, I can get four oxygens by using a coefficient two, and lo and behold, our hydrogens are in balance, four on each side. Uh, these two are just a little harder, but uh, not bad. Two irons over here, one iron on this side. Uh, oxygens, two and three. Let's even up the odd. We'll multiply by two. Got a total of four irons over there. Need a coefficient four back on the left-hand side. How many oxygens do we have? Well, it's always the coefficient times the subscript. We've got six oxygens, so we need a three here. Hey, here's your final exam question. Uh, iron oxide plus carbon to give iron plus CO2. This is an important process in liberating iron from iron ore. Uh, two oxygens, three oxygens. Let's give it one more try. We've got a total of six oxygens on the left, six oxygens on the right, three carbons, three carbons, four irons, four irons, and we're there. Balancing equations is an important skill and not a tough one at all.